Alright, buenos dias, what up you guys, welcome back to John's Moto Garage. You guys, I went out and did something totally, totally stupid. I uh, picked up a Yamaha FC09. I honestly don't know what the heck I was thinking. Anyway, I'm going to jump on the bike and let's let's talk a little bit about it. Why it's such a stupid, stupid decision on my part. And let's see what this motorcycle is all about here. This is a uh, 2016 beautiful gloss vivid black. Got M4 slip on exhaust. This is not part of the YouTube Moto Flip project. I will give you a little update on that here soon. Um, yeah, let me jump on the bike and we'll talk about my poor decision making here. All right. Ooh. My heart is already racing, you guys. So I don't know what the uh, what the deal is. I don't know what the problem is. Maybe a combination of my sleep deprivation. I've been picking up some extra shifts lately and I work nights so I'm always a little bit lacking on the sleep department. Or maybe it's like a, I feel like I have what I call a mid-year crisis, kind of like a midlife crisis, but it happens every six months or so where all of a sudden I start thinking, dude, I need to get myself a death machine again. And what I mean by death machine is something like this, a freaking super sport or a ridiculous motorcycle like the Yamaha FC09. So yeah, I'm not sure what happened, but I was perusing Craigslist looking for another motorcycle, looking for, you know, getting a bike lined up for the Moto Flip project, trading my way up to my dream bike. And this has actually always been one of my, not necessarily dream bikes, but I've always loved the uh, the vivid black FC09s, and I've always loved the FC09s, just how they look. And this thing, I happened to spot this on the old Facebook marketplace, and I was like, oh man, what the heck, that's a cool looking motorcycle. And then before I knew it, I was uh, making arrangements to go look at the bike. And then before I knew it from there, here I am riding the bike. Now, if you've been following me for a while, you may know that I actually had, I've had two of these on the channel before, but it's been a while. And I thought, in my mind, I said, you know, I've had the FZ07 XSR700. I got kind of comfortable and almost bored of those bikes. Been riding the Harley, you know, I've been getting into the wheelie game with my Ninja 636. I thought, dude, I, I wonder if I can handle the FZ09 now. You know, I had some time away from it. I wonder if I was exaggerating or just, you know, overdoing it in my mind of just how gnarly this motorcycle is. So. You know, obviously I convinced myself that was the case. And uh, I hate to admit it, but I'm still just totally not ready for this thing. My thoughts on this have not changed one bit. This thing is, is, is as crazy and as stupid powerful today as it was about a year and a half ago when I last had my hands on one. And I thought if anything that I would feel you know more comfortable on the bike now. Than 
I did back in the day. Uh, but that's just not the case, man. Maybe with knowledge, you have a little bit of more uh, fear. Or I don't know why. You know, ignorance is bliss. I'm like more afraid of this bike now than I was before. And uh, so anyway, yeah, that's the stupid thing that I went out and did. So I bought this bike yesterday. Bought it from a really, really, really cool dude. Uh, Coast Guard. Bro, retired Coast Guard. Kid's having a, uh, the kid, the dude, the guy is having a baby. His wife is prego or his girlfriend, I don't know who. And so he's selling the bike. Wise decision, my friend. He sold this and he bought a Sportster 1200. Very wise decision, my buddy. Because I guarantee on that Sportster 1200, you're not going to be doing any of the stupid stuff you were doing on this. I was doing pretty good I, sometimes I go overboard and I buy too many bikes that are just sitting in the garage you know like like too much like I got my Dyna I've got my Grom I've got my sport uh, supermoto I went out and bought the stump bike like too many bikes that I don't even have time to ride them and so I was finally like ready okay I'm gonna kind of thin the herd if you will cut back some do all that good stuff and uh, I was doing great Sold the Dyna. And then I laid eyes on this beauty, man. And I just couldn't help myself. Could not help myself. So, I'm gonna ride it, have some fun on it. See what this bike is all about, because it is freaking crazy. Hopefully I don't kill myself. I'll do a video comparing this to the FC07. Just, yeah, have some fun, but I absolutely cannot have this bike long-term in my garage because it is just nothing but trouble. Um, there's a time and a place for this kind of motorcycle, and it's for maybe a 55 to 60-year-old John who has way more discipline than the John of today. This thing is just absolutely absurd. It really is absolutely absurd anyway so there it is you guys just like a quick video i went out and bought a yamaha mt09 fc09 you know i say death machine death wish i'm not exaggerating when i say that this thing is it's wild but holy crap is it a fun bike holy crap is this a fun bike so uh, not sure what i'm gonna do with myself you guys what do you think is it a mid-year crisis have you guys ever experienced that you're midway through the year and you're just like man i need to mix things up dude i need something new and stupid and something that might kill me let's go buy a yamaha mt09 I and mean, what's the worst that could happen I've said it before, man. There is a reason I don't own a Super Sport. I like to think I know my limits somewhat. I'm somewhat calculated, but if you put me on a certain motorcycle, I can't control myself. I just can't do it, man. Just can't do it. I think that's going to do it, you guys, on this one, John's Moto Garage. Stay tuned. I will do more videos on this. Um, I've only had it one night. I bought it yesterday. I've only had it one night, and I, I just, I'm excited about it. I was super stoked to come out here and ride it. My heart's racing, but I already know I cannot keep it. So, hey, if you're in the market for an FC09, a beautiful one at that, tastefully modded, only we need uh, maybe a couple hundred times. Uh, you know where to, uh, you know how to get a hold of me. Look at the 
this little trailer up front. That's pretty cool. Anyway, as always, like and subscribe if you dig the content. You can hit me up on Instagram at John's Moto Garage. Hit up some merch from the merch store, man, to support the channel. And uh, big shout out to all those who support the, the brand or the brand. I'm not a brand. Shout out to those who support the channel. Every one of you, it's much appreciated. We'll, uh, we'll catch you on the next one. Adios, nos vemos.